A. So, welcome to Math Story. And let's have this topic. So, complete the table by converting the given values into Z-score and find the area. So, for this given, to convert these values into Z-score using this formula, so we have the X value minus the mean over the standard deviation. So, for this given, so we have the X value that's 28 minus the mean that's 16 over the standard deviation that's 7 so to find now the z score so we have 28 minus 16 equals then divide by 7 equals so that's 1.71 so the z score is 1.71 then for this values, so we have the x value, that's 68, minus the mean, 75, over the standard deviation, that's 5. So we have 68 minus 75 equals, then divide by 5, equals, so z-score is negative 1.4. Then for this given, so we have x value, that's 1.72 minus the mean 1.6 over 0.2. So we have 1.72 minus 1.6 equals then divide 0.2 equals so the 0.6. Then the last one, so the x value, that's 45, minus the mean, that's 50, over the standard deviation, that's 6. So we have 45 minus 50 equals, then divide by 6, equals, so that's negative, 0 0.83. So this is now the z-scores of the given values then to find the area using this table from the z-score so for 1.71 so in a normal curve positive 1.71 so let's assume that this is positive 1.71 then since this area that's between the mean and the z-score and this is the mean so to solve for this area, we have 1.7 since 0.71, so we need to add this 0.01. Then you connect, so therefore the area for 1.71, that's 0 0.4564. Since this one is positive, so therefore, we're looking for this area. And to find the total area, since half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5. So we just need to add this 0 0.4564. So therefore, the total area is 0 0.5. 9564 then for the z score negative 1.4 so let's assume this this one is negative 1.4 so we're looking for this area and again half of the curve the area is 0 0.5 and on this table the area between the mean and the z score so to find this area, since this one is negative, we just need to drop the negative. So we have this positive 1.4, then 0, you connect. So therefore, the area is 0 0.4192. Since negative, and we're looking for this area, so we just need to subtract this 0 0.4192. So we have 0 0.5 minus 
0 0.4192 equals, so the total area is 0 0.0808. Then for this z-score, 0 0.6, so we assume that this one is 0 0.6. So again, to find this area from the mean, so 0 0.6, this one is 0, so that's 0 0.2257, 2257, since positive, so we're looking for this area, and half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5, so to find the total area, so we need to add, this 0 0.2257 so therefore the total area is 0 0.7257 and for the last one the negative 0 0.83 so let's assume that this one is negative 0 0.83 since negative so we're looking for this area and half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5 and the area from the mean, so to find this area so since negative, we just need to drop the negative so we have 0 0.8 since we have this 3, so we need to add this 0 0.03 then you connect so the area is 0 0.8 Two nine six nine. Since we're looking for this area for negative, we need to subtract this 0 0.2969. So to find now the total area, so we have 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2969 equals, so the total area is 0 0.20. 31. So this is how to find the area of the z-score. So for positive, you need to add. For negative, you need to subtract.